is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, and this is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update on this uh, Wednesday, the 20th of April. Dow's up 191 points at 35,100. Finally broke that pattern. Remember we were talking about it? I said this is a really important pattern. Let me just see if I can get that. I had it already, and then I forgot to put it on. Yep, this particular pattern right here, uh, where you rally right up, and then you stall, and you make lower lows. Sorry, lower highs are much lower lows. Then you find a base, and you find that base, and it turns into a cup, potential cup formation. As it breaks that trend line and goes one to one to the upside, well, we've got something like that now. The day's young. We're not even uh, 32 minutes into the market uh, session of the day. We're looking at the Dow now making 34,970 34, as key support in the short term. This is really nice action we're looking at. The S&P, as I mentioned yesterday, is a similar pattern, but not nearly as strong. And it's really struggling. It's up 70 cents at 4462. Now, the theory has always been for me that we, especially when we used to have, I think it was three generals in the Dow, General General Foods, General Electric, and General Motors. And I used to always say, the generals can't lead without the soldiers. I think we're finding with the Ukraine that, in fact, the soldiers can lead as well. But now you've got the Dow as a leader, and you're not getting those soldiers. So this is a very different thing. We have to analyze it in a different way. Leadership here is very selective. You can see that the queues being smashed by Netflix is 100 points or something like that. Uh, slide, uh, waterfall cascade, actually, is not a slide. The, the queues are down 3.5 at 342. What's really interesting is the IY the IWM, which is the Russell 2000 small caps, is trying to find some support here. Will it become a little bit of a leader? Why well, maybe the Nasdaq needs a little more time to to kind of digest these huge losses that many have had. I don't know. Well, we'll see. The the IWM is up a little bit, but most importantly, we're looking at gold taking a bit of a breather. It is down seven. As I said, it's in a range. It's not breaking down. It's just it's taking a breather. That's important. Same thing with crude oil. Crude oil is um, unchanged today at about 102. Same thing. But the TLT, we're going to talk about that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the moment that the TLT has to rally and yields need to come down, at least for the short term. Watch 